otra vez. Ok, perfecto, ahora estamos. How is everything right, right now there? You know, is everything good? Everything's great, brother. Gracias yeah. a Dios, bro. We're, we're finally returning back to kind of like pre uh, COVID numbers, if you would, you know what I mean? Which is, which is phenomenal. Yeah. Super, super grateful que ya la gente está, you know, pasando de eso. By the way, for those of you that are just hopping on, welcome. Welcome to the pre show. Uh, here talking with a good friend, maestro, maestro del mundo, Jose Luis. Um, <laughs> pero, I'm anyways, that's shy, good, brother. You know that. La fiesta, yeah, la yeah. fiesta tuya es super, bro. That was, your party was the bomb, bro. I got it. Bueno, Yo, bueno, we bueno. got to, yeah. um, uh, I need you to throw your stuff in the, the leaders chat, bro. Para que, yo, para que yo puedo saber lo que está pasando por ahí. Y, y, y yo, yo paso, yo paso, bro. I mean, ah, claro, si tú me invitas, ¿no? <laughs> claro, obviously, obviously, siempre, siempre. For sure, bro. Siempre, But yeah, definitely siempre a lot te of invitado, fun. Siempre te invitado. I appreciate <laughs> you, man. I, I appreciate you. Y, y, y también eh, lo, lo bonito de ver a Leo y, y, y tú sabes, Inés y la familia por yeah. ahí. Awesome. Somos de Cruz. Yeah, yeah. Tú sabes que, tú sabes que, es que siempre there's a few girls and guys that always go to to different studio and that's good. Creo que había como unos cuantos que, que iban, tú sabes, o que son de, de tu escuela y estaban right. ahí también. So, it's, it's always fun to, you know, to, to share that, you know. Claro, compartir, claro, bro. Compartir, And, compartir, y, yeah. y lo que ellos pueden aprender, tú sabes, de, de, when you're crossing styles, you know what I mean? Y lo bonito, bro, exactly. es que, you know, I mean, everybody knows, bro, for in line, it's you, bro. I mean, I mean, it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, eso, eso, eso lo bonito, you know? I, I, for me, I feel like in Miami, for the casino, for us, is a little bit more saturated, you know? Pero, yeah. bro, el estudio tuyo es súper bonito, los pisos, like, you know, you got your mirrors there, set up, el logo And tuyo. Wait you see, wait till you see what's coming, brother. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We'll I talk like about that. it. Soon. <laughs> okay, no, no. Qué bueno, qué bueno, qué bueno. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me alegro, bro. Eh? Yeah, bro. That's all, la, la... That's all it is, bro. Para adelante. Para atrás ni para coger impulso, mi abuelo me decía. It's exactly, exactly. Yeah, brother. For sure, man. For sure. That's what's up, bro. Yeah. Cool, man. Cool. I'm, I'm, I'm super happy for you. Oye, tenemos que hablar sobre también. I love your name, Latin Dance Crown. La competencia de Orlando Congress. We'll talk about that now in the episode. Pero bueno. Yes, yes, yes. Déjame, déjame ya porque ya vamos a empezar. Así okay. que de, a, a, te escondo y después a formally uh, uh, introduce Sounds you here, good. all right? Give me a second, all right. Sounds... Y también um, uh, lo, los mensajes de texto se están saliendo ahora, so we should have a, uh, a few that are coming on board now Perfect. a little bit as well. Okay. Familia, what's going on? Welcome back. Today we have a very, very special guest. Jose Luis Gutierrez from Salsa Caribe, a uh, very, very, very good friend. Uh, we've been doing, uh, by, we've been working side by side um, here promoting Salsa in Miami for, for many years now. Um, well, actually, his numbers are, are bl blown, blown mine away. Uh, 20 years now as a dance studio owner teaching Salsa in línea. Um, 17 years as the founder or the originator for the Orlando Salsa Congress, uh, which is huge, huge numbers, a, a, a big, a big time event here for Central Florida uh, that even a lot of the Miami community participates in. So we absolutely love, love, love that event as the, uh, the vibes are a little bit different than the Miami Congress, which is cool as they're able to uh, participate in that. OrlandoSalsaCongress.com. Uh, to check out that event, CaribeDanceStudio.com, uh, to check out the actual dance studio itself. I'm going to bring on Jose Luis now in just a second, so he can correct me on those domains if those are if those are wrong. But let me go ahead and bring him on board. Without further ado, we got a very exciting topic today, and um, uh, for those of you that were that are interested in hopping on board for our next event, the Miami Salsa Cruise. Go ahead and check that out, MiamiSalsaCruise.com. I'll be talking about it later in the episode. Stay tuned for uh, an exclusive early bird coupon code that we have for you guys. So, without further ado, Mr. Jose Luis Gutierrez. Ooh -hoo! Ooh -hoo! Ooh -hoo! Those are fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Thank my dude? Thanks for coming man. on, bro. 
Thank you so much for the invite. It is, uh, es un privilegio estar aquí. As you, you know, as I already know or say, uh, we know each other for a long time and I always have admire you. You, you are like one of the best dancers that I've seen. And, in, in, you know, in, in like Rueda, it's, it's awesome. And you, and I, I, and I was impressed because you actually came to my social and you asked me to dance and I leave you. I'm like, oh, wow, he can dance. <laughs> I love it, man. I, I love like, it. What? There's a lot, to, a, lot to, a lot to learn, man. Oye, tú me enseñaste tanto en solamente ese, ese bailecito, bro. And I te, te agradezco, de verdad, de verdad, de verdad. For real, for it real, was man. It was fun. It was fun. Always, it was man. Fun. I, I got to get there earlier next time. I came I came a little bit late. I was, uh, shout out to uh, to Randy. Randy Dance Studio. I was there at his social a little bit earlier. Uh, and then I passed by Jose Luis's because I hadn't been by it. It's been, it's been a while since I had passed by. Um, yeah, 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 but uh, but it definitely awesome vibes, man. That you that you have there, uh, you know your students with your shirts, y de todo, and it, that's 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 good stuff, bro. So from thank what you, I understand, you. you are on your way to Orlando now, or you're yes, about we to are be. Actually going to, we are no, we are driving. We we actually made a stop. My plan was to get there earlier so that I can do this interview from the room, but you know how it is. Right, we absolutely. We started packing, and it got late, and the traffic has been crazy. So we are still an hour and a half away, and I should have been there already a long time ago, but I teach at 5 p.m. today, so that should be Ooh, fine. Oh, wow, okay, yeah. okay, perfecto. So, perfecto. ¿Tú estás enseñando específicamente qué? It's L.A. It's, uh, it's going to be like shines and, and you know, partner work. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. perfecto. Perfecto, buenísimo. Yeah. Hey, it's hey, an hey. event called Big. The event is called VIG. Big. Ajá. Big Salsa. Big Salsa Festival, creo que. ¿Verdad? Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, perfecto. Okay, okay. I still got you. I okay. still got you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. ¿Tú, tú sabes lo, so que, lo que significa VIG? Or is it, is it just, do they just mean Big? Big Salsa Festival. I think that they just mean Big. Yeah, so it's just big, uh, but they call it VIG. So let me let me I see if no they idea. have a. Yeah. Is it bigsalsafestival.com? dot com? Yeah, Voy a poner exactly. Aquí. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Voy a poner aquí si aparece. Yep. Big sal bigsalsafestival dot com. So feel free to go ahead and check yeah. that out, guys. That's also in Orlando. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm driving there now, and we should be there soon. Una hora y media más. One hour and a half more. Do you know who is responsible for this event? And it's, do they? Do you? Do you this know them? Are they? Are they competition with you guys for Orlando Congress? Or how does that work? I mean, I mean, how I see it, my competition, it's me. I mean, like I don't really care about whoever is doing event or like socials in Miami or whatever. I think that everybody and. we probably wouldn't be where we are, you know what I mean? It, it would be like, you know, we, we are the only one, and, and I think that competition is hurting, you know? So they are a competition, but not really. We're friends. So one of the organizers is named Oscar, and the other one is Joe, Paul Helder, you know. Oscar. From here, from Oscar. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hold on a minute. That you, you went into my car. So let me see. How Oh, yeah. See if you can hook up. Yeah, your headphones. Yeah, it seems like the audio changed there for a little bit. Yeah. Or oh, apagar el Bluetooth. Creo que mejor. Exactly. I think so. Excuse uh, us for the technical difficulties. Ah, que ahora sí te, ahora sí te, te escucho bien. Yeah, is that uh, my driver, my personal Uber is back. <laughs> my can <laughs> say Adriana. Now maybe you can see her. Say hi, Adriana. Ay, hi, Adriana. Hello. La jefa, la jefa. La jefa, la real boss. Yes, anyway, so, absolutely. Yeah, Thanks to Adriana, you know, since she came into my life, uh, uh, things have improved a lot. Amen, amen. Así es, así yeah. es, brother. Así es, así es. Bueno, brother, hazme favor para los que no saben de ti, no, no, no te conocen, Tell us a little bit about you, brother. How how did you get into this dance thing? Um, were you born here? Um, Explícanos de todo, brother. Empezando, bueno, obviously not not too too long because I know that you got. Uh, pero pero I, I guess ultimately, kind of like the the summary of 
how Jose Luis became El Gran Jose Luis. Oh my God. <laughs> First of all, I'm very shy. I'm very shy. I never like to talk about myself, per se. Pero tú, but tan I bonito que eres, bro. Awesome. Imposible. Imposible. Very, very <laughs> shy. And I told them, hey, I'm really shy because when, when, when I perform, it's different. You know, you're there and whatever. But anyway, I was, uh, I was, uh, I used to live here in Miami uh, till I was 21. So at 21 years old, I joined the Marine Corps. And I went to oh, wow. and I got stationed, uh -huh, and I got stationed in Los Angeles. So there, I always loved salsa. And back in the day here, at that point, there was no salsa studio. So I wanted to learn how to dance salsa. And I, I tried to inquire because at that time, they were doing some competition. And I saw people dancing so good, but I didn't know where they learned. And I figured maybe they came from Cuba and they already knew how to dance or whatever mm. the case may be. But I, at that time, I inquired, and there was no dance studio here that I can learn from. So then, because I always loved dancing, always, since I was just, just an little kid, but I always liked, um, you know, from my country, we dance merengue, bachata, and from the Dominican Republic. Epa. And, but salsa, exactly. But we didn't dance salsa at that time there. But when I moved to Puerto Rico, which I grew up there, I lived in Puerto Rico for about six years. Um, that where I was introduced to salsa for my high school graduation, I tried to learn, but I tried to learn in one month, you know, when <laughs> a girl comes, take a private class, I have a wedding next week and she wants to learn from you. It's like, oh yeah, in one week, <laughs> good luck with that, you know? <laughs> right. So that was me. That was me from my, from my prom, whatever it's called. So I tried to learn in one month, but obviously I, I didn't learn anything. I went to my prom and whatever, and then I moved to here, Miami. Uh... I was 60 years old. And I always liked dancing. And, and as soon as I turned 20, 21, that I started going to club or, or like festival. But I mean, here, you know, they used to have a lot of like big fe fe festival. Uh -huh. um, I couldn't find any studio. Bro. Anyway, to make a long story short, I moved to L.A. And I was there a station with the Marine Corps. And I immediately, as soon as I got there, I asked the first thing I asked my, my, my friend there, hey, there's any salsa club. But remember, for these people, they thought salsa was just a food, was just salsa Oh, jeez, you know? okay. <laughs> so, so then I went out with them to a club, and it was a hip-hop. And I was the only, like, Mexican, because when you're there, right, uh, right. all of us are Mexican. Right, so total Latinos are Mexicanos. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> I met this, this group of girls, and they were Mexican, for real. So I, I asked them, and they one of them took me to a club for the first time there in L.A., and there it was where I actually started to dance. And I used to go out every single night, bro. It was crazy. Wow. And that's, that's why I dance. That's why I dance L.A. And that's why I dance on one because I dance over there. I started to learn over there, you know. So then oh. after like four years of me just going to club and stuff, I went to a club in San Diego. Then I moved from L.A. to San Diego. And it was a dance instructor there that she was really like an order instructor, you know. So obviously she wanted to keep her niche. She was like very, very uh, territorial. Uh, uh -huh. and, and, I, and I just moved from LA and I had a dance partner. You know, at that time we used to do flips and neck drop and all that crazy Mira stuff at the club. Yeah, at the club. So then she didn't want me to do the neck drop and the flip and the stuff. So she asked me to stop. I'm like, but why? I, I don't understand. And I didn't really know, like, like understand what where where she was coming from, you know, like I didn't teach or nothing, but I was very uh, llamativo, you know. So then uh, then she didn't want me to dance. She said, like, I don't want you to dance how you dance. I'm like, OK, but that's how I know how to dance. I don't understand. So basically, they kicked me out of that of that club. Hold on a minute. I got to give her my money so she can put gas. <laughs> OK, <laughs> here you go. So anyway, um. Um, so then, uh, they, they kicked me out one Thursday night and I used to bring so many people to that club because I used to go there every week, you know, and, uh, and she kicked me out. So then that's, that's how I started. And as a challenge, I went into the Marine Corps. I find out that they have a club in the Marine Corps. Obviously it was a, you know, like whatever hip hop club. So I went and I spoke to them to do a salsa night there. And that's how it started, bro. I, I didn't have DJ equipment, nothing, but I went. I never taught a class. 
right? So I went and told the the obviously I I wear my my uniform and right. I went and spoke to the manager. Say, hey, look, I'm a sergeant here on base and I'm a dance instructor in salsa and I'm, I'm a DJ in Buste. Yo nunca en mi vida había sido nada de esto, you know. <laughs> so and they told me, they told me, uh, you know, that they already have a, a team in place that they already have their own DJ. So I offer my service for free for one month. I say, okay, let's do a deal just because that club was empty, right? Mm. So I say, you, you know, just try me out for a month. And if it go well, then, you know, we renegotiate. And it happened, bro, that we won three years, the best club in San Diego, bro, for three years in a row. I mean, we kick ass. That, the line to get into that club, bro, it was like around the corner. I mean, like everybody was going there. So I thought my first class there to Filipinos, thank you. Thank God for the Filipinos that is on base. Because you know, if you ever been to any to any like base, it's like a town. They have right. supermarket, they have all type of stores in there, and they have housing. So a lot of people live on base. So I I, I made some flyers and I put them on cars, and that's how I started teaching. Mira, I started I started teaching there, and it was really like for three years, bro. Three the best club in San Diego, three years in a row. Best club, including like that club that kicked me out. We we, yes, <laughs> we were doing better, dude. better. And I opened on Thursday night, you know, same night as they were doing it. And we like we were kicking ass. So then when my contract expired, 1999. So that that's going to be telling you part of my age already. Wow. So I'm talking about 1999. It was when I moved back to Miami, who was my hometown. At that time, I had a really good, like, like a great job. So... I didn't want to teach. I came here. I said, you know what? I'm going to be a player. I just want to go out with a lot of girls. <laughs> 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 I don't want to teach anymore because whenever you're teaching and you're like, you know, you need to set it, you know, you need to be a good, good person. You know what I mean? Like, don't claro. be whatever, you know? So, um, uh, ejemplo, you know? So I came, and the, the first night that I went out, I met my aunt's wife, and that's it. Oh, <laughs> that was no. Story. I, I only went out, that's it. And then uh, we got married, and, and that's how Caribe was born. That, 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 and that's why I put Caribe, because she was from Puerto Rico, and I was from La República Dominicana, you know? So it was uh. like a, a mix. And I didn't want to write it like regular Caribe. I put it with a K. Right. So, that's how we started. That's mm -hmm. awesome, man. Okay, so what year was that? That was 20, 2003, actually, 2003. So this is going to be, this year, it's already 20 years that we have Caribe in the same place. Ahí mi mito en la Flagler y la 103. So it's been 20 bro. years, bro. And that's CaribeDanceStudio.com todavía, ¿verdad? Did I say that right? We might have lost him. Jose Luis. Bueno, that's fine. But that's definitely amazing, amazing stuff. Um, he he has the there he is. He's back again. Beautiful. Got you yeah, back, yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Perfecto. That's amazing, man. So, wow. So twenty years. So wait. So two thousand and three. ¿Qué mes? A la verdad, si te digo el mes, te miento. I think it was in March. So it. Uh, I think it was like it was around March, but the month I'm, I'm not sure. I know that that we started Caribe and then we started, which I don't know if you remember that I also do BTS. Right. So BTS, I know that it started like around August or the same year. So so it's also going to be 20 years this this year for for for, for that too. That's so, amazing. You know, Para los que so, no saben, cuenta, cuéntanos de de BTS. BTS. Born to Salsa, so it's spelled Born to Salsa BTS. Um, yeah, it was like me, I always wanted to sell clothes online. And I have one okay. of my guys that, that was taking classes there with me. He was very creative. He was into reggaeton. And he used to sing reggaeton and whatever. And I wanted to sell clothes online. So he was taking classes with me and we became really close. And then we were talking about doing an online store, you know, and then he, 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 he was coming from Puerto Rico and he, and he saw like there's some type of like website there, a reggaeton. And that's how we actually started talking. But we need a programmer for this. We needed somebody to 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 create a website for us. Like mm. and then we met we met another student of mine. Then I, like I remember that I have a student of mine that was really smart 
and that he does computer and stuff. And that was Frank. And I spoke to nice. Frank and Frank was Frank was down to the idea. And that's how we created. But the website was was just for like to sell clothes and sell shoes online for salsa. Right. And at that time, at that time, it was a need for like like something new here because like, you know, like like the only thing that we have was just cut, you know, like Rueda. But it was not like a social, 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 like it's like like a New York style deal. So okay. that's when we created our first social core board, you know, and 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 my wife or my ex-wife was pregnant. And my son was coming in, so I was like, put it born to salsa because it was like born to salsa. You I know? love it. <laughs> so, I love it. So, and, and that's how we actually started doing socials. And bro, which I don't know if you ever went to one of them. Claro, we claro used que to about, We used to get, back in the day, we used to get uh, like around 400 people coming from Fort Myers, Orlando. We used to get people driving from Tampa because at that time, and you know, you know, it was like the first one here in Florida right. that, or that type of, of, of dance, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, and that's how then Miami Congress was already in place, was already in the system. So when, when I thought about doing a Congress, I didn't want to compete with Miami. Right. So that, that's why I moved to Orlando. So we, we don't create competition and we don't create like a bad blood, but it still happens. You know how it is. Right. Lamentable, you know how it is, and and uh, we created Orlando, and and um, yeah, that rest is like history, you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Wow, man, yes. that's awesome, bro. That's wow, that's crazy. Okay, cool. So okay, so entonces la foto del logo de Born to Sasa el hijo tuyo, el calvo. Exactly, exactly. No es el hijo mío por se, but that's the idea. That's why they didn't right. come out because she was pregnant at that time. And it was like, he's born to, you know, born to salsa. Oh, wow, wow, wow. And de ahí fue que salió el nombre, pero entonces el, de, de, el diseñador hizo, hizo como que un baby, you know? Right, 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 right. No, que bueno, bro. That's so awesome, man. Okay, perfecto. And then Born to Salsa is still, uh, it's two weeks out of the, out of the month, right? It's once it's once a month and it's on the first week of the of the month. Yeah, it's on the first week of the month. First Saturday. First Saturday of the month. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. First first Saturday of the month. Perfecto. Entonces that's exactly. And is that is that born to salsa .com? Exactly. Well, at this day and age, we don't really have a website in like anymore. Okay. We just do a we promote it on in, on Instagram. Yes. And okay. We promote it on like. Facebook, yeah, and, yeah, and everybody sure. knows about it like for 20 years, and it's like it still get really good. Not not 400, but we get around like 250. Yeah, bro, when, no, the numbers at that, the numbers more. there are great, bro, for sure. Yeah. When we promote more, you know, it gets really packed, but yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Que bueno, bro. No, lo lo, so lo bonito es tener tener marcas, bro, and apparently you have three already just from this. This short conversation, you have your you have Caribe Caribe Dance Studios or Salsa Caribe, Orlando Salsa Congress, which is another monster, um, amazing amazing vibes at that Congress. I love Orlando Congress, um, and then the Born of Salsa Social again. I, claro, lo mío es más, you know, it's not it's not really the Cuban music, but oh, still, bro, when I, cuando yo quiero bailar en línea, esa fiesta no, 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 está amazing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, 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 but this this dates. We, we we try to play both a little bit more. We play more timba this day because now, I mean, uh, we love like Cuban, you know, so it's not like we don't like, you know what I mean? So most 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 of my classes I usually teach with Habana de Primera. Nice. Nita, yeah, bro. Elio it's beautiful. Elio uh, Los Bambam. So, you know, that's, that's the band that I use because... Uh, Cuban bands or Cuban music has more rhythm, to be honest. I mean, like, it take it took me a long time to get to this conclusion. <laughs> but yes, Cuban music has more rhythm than 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 regular, or you know, than than Puerto Rican. And mm -hmm. I don't want my Puerto Rican family uh, right, right. friends to get offended. <laughs> right. But that's the truth. That Cuban, you know, Cuban has more rhythm. So it's like. To teach and to even dance, Cuban right, right. Por like, lo menos para pa el bailador, right? For at least for us dancers, eh, entra, yeah, entra más fácil, creo. 
Yeah. Right? Yeah, the thing is that, that, that the on two at one point was like, they call it Mambo because it was more instrumental and everybody went to that. But uh-huh. this day, like most of the on two instructor, if you see them teaching, they teach with Cubans, you know, with, yeah. with like, uh, right. like I say, Nick. Nick and Taya is, is like super strong in, in, yep. in some of the schools, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Absolutely. Por el, yeah. por el sentimiento, el sentimiento del contratiempo cayendo arriba del dos, eso, eso, pff, bro, el, 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 you know, el, the, from the bass, el, exactly. el song is, is where that, that, it's just, it, it just feels so good. It feels so good. Yeah. No, yeah. for sure. I bro. agree. I agree. I bueno. Agree. No, no, no. Y like, y the, like, así no, like, cuando hacen una rueda, like, bien hecha, bro, it's like, I mean, like I say, when I was in LA, 1990, if I tell you this, then you want to know that I'm really old. But it's like 1996, bro. I came back. I joined the Marine Corps in 1992. Okay. So 1996, I came back here, and now that there was dance studio. Now there was salsa lovers. Now that there was other studio. Uh, and um, Latin rhythm. Había uno que se llamaba. Había un montón. Salsa fever. Right. Um, Uh, Salsa Kings salió ya por ahí. Right. Creo que fue en 94, no sé. Um, pero anyway, ya había en estudio, pero yo fui a Mystique, a Clown Mystique, el que estaba en el aeropuerto. Yep. Y Ramani, Ramani, which is a, a great friend of mine, I love him. Ramani was teaching classes there. And I went there, te lo juro, que mi skin just went like woof, like goosebumps, because I never seen that. Remember that when I left, That was thing in place. When I right. came back, like three or four years later, that was now, like Rueda was like a big deal here, and nice. like, everybody at the club was dancing Rueda. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> so guess what? I went to Salsa Lovers and I took classes there. But, but then I did. I I did. I I went to another place, like you know, and I was able to advance faster because the studio was smaller. Uh-huh. So I went and I took like all the level in one day so i went to all the levels in one day but when you do that you don't really remember so i i i got it i got enchufe adios con la hermana adios right. that damn uh, whatever right. a few other easy pattern that i remember so i went back to san diego and guess what i started teaching casino ah! on style. <laughs> then one year all the students wanted to do a, a trip to miami hey Hey, Jose, we went to Miami to dance casino. Oh, like, don't go to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> all the patterns I I created because, like, I didn't remember, like, all the claro. names. So I created a lot of the names that, you know, that I remember. I I just put names to whatever I created. And right. I call it ca- candado to any, pero no del mismo candado que ustedes hacían aquí. Right. You know, so I'm like, if you go to Miami, you guys are going to kill me because this is not the same shit that they do over there. <laughs> But it was fun, but it was fun. So. That's awesome, man. No, that's what, wow, super Victoria, bro. That's amazing, man. That's amazing. Cool, bro. Okay, so yeah, tú tienes, tú tienes la rueda ahí también metido. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Bueno, vamos, vamos a entrar al, al, al topic de hoy. Que for those of you that are that are listening new to the, to the podcast or to our interviews, we always have our guests select... Um, a topic or a message that they feel um, over their experience is something that, you know, those that are up and coming should um, be aware of or be able to take advantage of, et cetera, so on and so forth. And Jose Luis um, chose the concept of, of the fountain of youth or, or the benefits, the health benefits um, across multiple aspects um, and how that can provide life, like quite literally. Um, so, so tell us a little bit about that, brother. What do you, what do you, what did you, what do you really mean by that? Um, I know that we just spoke over it briefly, um, but I did notice that you, when I asked you, what do you want to talk about? Eso te salió super rápido. That you knew, like eso de uno, and and I and I love that. So, so like by all means, brother. Like I, I want you to, I want you to preach right now. Like, like tell, because this is lo bonito de de esto de internet, etc. Que esto va This is going to stay forever, bro. So, todo lo que te, que te quieren escuchar, they're going to be able to have access to it. Um, and I guarantee you that, that we, we, we have a significant amount of podcast listeners that are really, really taking advantage of the information of our guests, etc. So, by all means, brother, I give you the floor, man. And again, I appreciate you. Thank you. 
<laughs> uh, well, I mean, it's just so much to talk about this because it's just like for me when, like I say, I always like that music. I always like the dance, right? And obviously that when you're young, I mean, you know, we don't really think about all this stuff, right? And uh, and and obviously I did started dancing salsa because of the girls. I think that most yeah. of us young yep. guys, we, absolutely, we we go to the club and we see girls and like, wow, well, I want to dance with like that. So to get girls, so uh, you know, going back back in time, so when I went to this club and I saw a guy that he just died, well, not just died, but a few years ago died, he, like he was a big promoter, uh, Albel, which I don't know if you remember, Albel, uh, in LA. So and I saw him dancing with a lot of women, and I was like, I want to be like like that. <laughs> That's where I started dancing. But with with a year passed, and I see people from my high school, people from my age. Like I say, I was 52 years old now. Um, so, Coño, you know, tan guapo, tan guapo, yeah. con 52, bro. Felicidades, bro. Eh. 52 añitos, y no, and I feel great. I, I feel like uh, a few years ago, I went to, you know, to, to do a whole body test, whatever. And the guy who, who did the test said, Oh, man, but, but you got a body like you're 26. Nice. I'm like, yeah, really? That's, that's how I feel. Like, I feel young, um, I, and, I, and, and I believe it's because of the dance. I believe that the dance help you, help you with your memory. It help you, and it help you stay healthy, and help you stay young. I mean, in my dance studio, I have a few late, you know, señoras, yeah. that they're out there. You know, they're like 70, 72, and they look amazing. And I compare yes. them to my mother. I compare them to my mother, who is that same age, and she's, she's, you know, she doesn't go out. She's at home. She doesn't do anything, and right. it's like. At that age, like you, like you need something to keep you going, and and the dance keep you going. Like I say, and I feel, I feel amazing. I feel super good. Uh, I still can feel. Capitan. Ah, it's Ah, yes, 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 yes. I got you. Okay. Is that once in one, once in a while? There's going to be a call that come in, and it's always the same. But no, I'm it's okay. To shut it down quick. Oh, anyway, good, all good. Thank so you. I I feel like I still have a lot to offer. As a matter of fact, I, I told you earlier that I got something big coming up. I hope within the next month we are going to move from Caribe there. We bought our, our own our own space. So we were able to purchase our own space. It's a beautiful, beautiful venue. It's on the process of being being done right now. So hopefully in one month we're going to be doing a grand opening and going to I'm going to invite you um, to do classes for me whenever you have time and stuff like that. And, brother, that's uh, amazing, brother. Brother, it, but I'm sorry, bro. I'm be. that's I gotta stop you. Felicidad, bro. Congratulations, bro. That is a huge, huge deal, bro. Wow, man, that's super inspiring. That's um, I are you able to say where? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's close to us. It's like by 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 the mall. Okay. You know, uh, es que, ya queda en la 17 y la 120, 27 a, Avenida del Northwest. Uh, wow, so man, that's that amazing. Area, so it's going to be really close, really close to Caribe, and it's going to be a big space, like two, like two studio. So it's going to be amazing, and and I feel like I still at, at this age, I still have a lot of years left to actually to keep teaching to keep providing to keep doing what i love you know and, and i think that that part of the deal is that, that I, like everybody should find something that you're really passionate and you love and that's going to help you because it's it's all together i think it's it's all together you know what i mean it's not just because you're but dancing is exercising so you're right sometimes i teach like seven hours like in, in one day so i'm very active and that helps me stay Flaco, tú sabes. Yeah. <laughs> Flaco Barrigón. <laughs> so, yeah. That's amazing, man. Wow, bro. Okay. Wow, man. Definitely, bro. Count us in. However we can help, bro. I, I tell everybody the same thing, man. Like, let us know. Let us know however we can help. We we, we want to. We, <laughs> at least ever since that I jumped on. I mean, I, I, I don't got 20, but I do have 15. Um, and because uh, I took over. And well, no. Salsa Kings abrió in 98. I took over in 2007. And another perfect example, El Vita. 
Ella tiene también, ella tiene como 73 años. She's like 73 years old, the founder of Salsa I Kings. Doing a, I was doing a, a class uh, en una cuestión que había ahora, Gay 8. La Ajá. calle 8. Las, uh, las, in, in, can, and guess who I saw there? Claro. I saw her there. And I brought her, obviously, on the stage. And I, because she's, she's always like you. you. You always, actually, you are always like one of the few people that always has been like community oriented supporter. And I never see you in drama with all the studio. And that's amazing, you know? Um, you know, porque en este ambiente, tú sabes que siempre hay su, su cuestión y su cosa. And right. I don't think it's, it's nice. Y tú eres una de las pocas personas. Y ella también. So I saw her. So immediately I brought her into the stage. I took a picture with her. Nice. Because she was the first woman. Check, check this out. I came from from San Diego, like one of those trips. Uh -huh. I came to see my, you know, because I mean, like I was from here. My mother, my family was here. And I was there because of the Marine Corps. Right. So well, I used to come here like once a year, uh, you know. So one of those trips, I went to a club. This is December 31st. I never forget this. December 31st, it was, like it was a club that in, in South Beach, as you going into South Beach right there in that corner, it was a big club, which I forgot. I Nikki Beach? No, 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 no. Going into it, like once you go out of the out of the bridge, like if you're driving from here, uh -huh. and you're going to the playa. Right. The first point that you can go to the izquierda, that you go to the 17, or you okay. can go you know, so I mean, in okay. esa esquina, a la izquierda, on the left hand side, where there was a club there, uh, and they, you know, y, y, they, y había like light band, y que se yo, un diciembre 31, and I went by myself, and I started to dance, so, el Vita came to me, oh my God, you dance so good, are you from Puerto Rico? Y dije, no, I'm not, I'm from, you know, I'm Dominica. Okay, le tienes que decirle a todo el mundo que tú eres puertorriqueño, porque yo le acabo de decirle a todo el mundo que tú eres puertorriqueño. <laughs> y yo, ok, I'm Puerto Rican. So she introduced me to the, tú sabes, to your crew at that time, you know? Uh -huh. I mean, and, and I'm like, yeah, man, but I'm from Puerto Rico. <laughs> I went with the plus, so. But she was so cute. I mean, super nice. And, and you see what I mean? Like, she was very, like, approachable and she came to me like you know she right she saw a guy there dancing good and she just went and 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 like you know like work on that person and and i felt good that night you know i mean brother so, ¿Te, te acuerdas el año que de eso uh no bro no but i mean but it gotta be like 90 98 around there 97 i don't remember you know? okay but yeah around there that's amazing you already bro. have the 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 school so Ok, oh, yeah. so a lo mejor, a lo mejor 98, 90, a, 90, subiendo a 90, 99. Yeah, I got out in, 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 in 99, so like it was prior to me, you know. Yeah, so it was around there, yeah. That's awesome, dude. Wow, cool. Wow. El, vaya, el va tiene su historia también, man. She's wild, bro. She's wild. Hey, exactly. Ella sale más, más frecuente que, que... She goes out more often than I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, man. <laughs> So she looks amazing, you know. Yeah. I mean? And part of that again is is the dance and and the dance help you to be active. And you, if you go into a dance class, you're taking a class or whatever, you gotta get ready, you gotta get dressed. Right. You, you're you're forced to go to, you know, to buy new clothes and so and keep your you know you know your spirit like, again. My, la exacto. La mamá mía está, you know, in la, you know. En Cueva, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, mm -hmm. a home todo el tiempo. Ya come 4 p.m. And ya she doesn't go out porque el sereno. So I... <laughs> right. <laughs> el sereno, you know. So it's, you know, it's hard, you know. I, I hear you, man. I hear you. No, man. I, I, and and, and, and I, I think that's absolutely amazing. It's an amazing message. And that there's a lot of. It's a lot of proof. There's a, the proof is in the pudding, man. At the end of the day, there's a lot of people with, you know, at mature ages, I guess you could say, for lack of better words, that that have youth, that have a, a young spirit that, that, that are more energetic than a lot of even, you know, uh, people that they're same age or even younger. Um, are you still with us, Jose Luis? Are you, can you hear me, brother? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay, perfect. Porque el video, el video es frozen. 
Ah, ok, ahora sí. Oh, perfecto, okay. perfecto. Yo te veo bien a ti. Yeah. Ok, awesome. Uh, so yeah, uh, like I said, the proof is in the pudding, man, and 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 that's I think that's really it's really inspiring. Not not only not only the the indirect benefits, right, of like a healthy spirit and all that, but bro, every everybody that's 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 more mature, that's older, that's dancing, everybody looks great. They look great. They 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 their 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 presence as a as a person is is attractive. Um, You know, and not necessarily in a in a in a weird sense, but like you can just tell, like, okay, this is this is somebody that I want to be around. This is somebody that tiene vida. You know, that they have they have they have a a life uh, around them. Um, I guess maybe it's just it, it it just lifts the spirits enough to where you're not you know dreading the next day. You know that we we can we can have a full smile still at the end of a dance. Um, You know, tell tell Adriana. I'm, I, I'm probably in her. I'm only in your ear, but tell her I loved our dance that we had at your social. Like, so much fun, so much fun. May you'll be that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Awesome, 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 yeah. awesome for sure, brother. So, so I appreciate that. And and I guess what would be the what would be something that you could tell um, some people that are maybe like they have challenges staying in the scene just because of life. You know, maybe it's a little bit easier for us because we're in the business. But for for people that are, you know, that just just life in general, está complicado, you know, and 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 what what's something that can that can kind of you know put them back put them back into the to a to a healthy a healthy environment um, that'll that in the in the in the realm of dance in their community, whether it's here in Miami or otherwise. Yo, I mean, you know, one thing that I always hear a lot of the of the guys and girls that sometimes that they leave the scene because. They say that the scene has a lot of drama, you know, or whatever. So stuff like sure. that. Uh, and also, yeah, if you're busy, whatever, you know, like I usually say, like, find a place that you feel comfortable. Like, I know that okay. there's a lot of studio. Maybe maybe you went to the, not the wrong one, but not the right one for you. For you, maybe sure. Try changing a, yeah, maybe try changing a little bit. And yes, find time because this is like going to the gym. I mean, like, going to the if, If you don't dance, at least go to the gym because that yeah, is like an exercise. It's, a, it's an exercise. But the difference with the gym and, and dancing for me is that the gym keep you just physically in shape. The dancing keep you also mentally in shape. Yes. So so it helps you with your mind. You just find your, find your place. There is a place for every, you know, like everybody. And at least once a week, twice a week, try to make time to dance because dancing is like, is like, It's like smiling. You should smile once a day at least. You know, nice. You smile That's big. That, all that, you know. But it's just just finding your own place, finding your family. Uh, like like every studio has has a nice family. And uh, for those people that always say, "Oh no, there's a lot of drama," I think that that the drama is mostly on you. You you mm. are the one with the drama. Leave the drama outside. Who cares? Yeah, there, In any environment, at work, with your family, with your brother, there's always Facts. argument. There's always drama. So in every place that you go, if you're thinking about drama, there's always going to be something that you call drama. To right. me, there's no drama. You know what I'm saying? It's like right. everybody, you know, like you just got to be happy, man, you know. And if you're happy, the, the people around you are going to be happy. Are going to be happy. Absolutely, man. Yeah. No, it's, wow. Those are those are huge right there, brother. Fast, simple. But huge, bro, and that, yeah, see us, I see us. It's it's what, it's what you perceive, right? What are you thinking about? Exactly. Because if you're thinking about it, te va a parecer. Energetic claro, law, exactly. energetic yeah. law. Whatever it is that you're thinking about, whatever you want to see, you're gonna see. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. And that's and that's and that's a big deal because the fact is is that everything is existing all at the same time. Whether it's happiness, yeah. whether it's sadness, whether it's drama, whether it's fun, whether it's boring. Whatever it is, whatever that you, whatever that you're accustomed to being, that's what that's what's ultimately gonna end up manifesting yeah. itself, or at least from your perception, right? Um, exactly. I, I exactly. find it. I it's find it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Make make the best out of any you know any like to say situation. Entiendo? Right. It doesn't really matter if if you go to a dance to a you know and you all know them like that that music sucks the music this uh -huh. obviously it's going to it's going to suck but if you go with an open mind and you go to dance and go to have fun usually it's good you know 
Abs- absolutely. I-, I actually released another uh, another episode. I think it was 53. I called it. Uh, but I don't like this song. Se llamo, se llamo. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's like, but being able to appreciate what that song is about and, and buscar lo bueno adentro de eso, encontrar a alguien is on the same frequency as you, que está buscando una, una manera de, de have fun. And then guess what? They have so much fun with you that now they're introducing you to their friends que están en el mismo ambiente. You know what I mean? Exactly. And, and, exactly. And, and like attracts like at the end of the day, man. And, and, that's, and, that's, and that's a big deal. And I think... The music and all of that and all of those good vibes connects directly to your message of ultimately staying healthy and staying young it, because you're constantly around a lot of opportunities to be on the up and up, I guess you can say, instead of you know being Debbie Downer, you know? Yeah, exactly. um, at the At the end of the day, you're at the very minimum surrounded by people who want to have a good time. Maybe you don't. But the people around you, they're all at least having a good time. They're dancing. They're putting themselves out there. They're being vulnerable because a lot of people are students, right? Um, which is why your socials and stuff like that, they're so powerful. Um, you know, you're offering a lot, which again, which we appreciate. Question, do you think that, let's say, okay, let's say a married couple, okay? Do... Would you say if they know how to dance and they dance together at the house, maybe they don't go out, but they dance together at the house. Is that enough to be able to, because I know a lot of couples that don't, right? They, maybe they learned how to dance, but they, they're not continuing to dance, I guess you could say. Maybe they met dancing, but they don't dance anymore. Would you say, but being at least dancing together, that es, eso mismo beneficio, that they give the same benefits? ¿Qué tú crees de eso? I obviously I'm a dance instructor, so I'm going to always promote classes. You classes, right. my classes, and everybody classes. Um, going out, going out. I, I think it's it's more than just yes. I dance at home, no, because you're you're meeting new people. Even though you're married, it doesn't matter. It's not like you're meeting people, but you gotta get dressed, you gotta get ready, and all that uh. with your self-esteem. If you're only at home. If you're only at home, I mean, you don't really, you know what I'm saying? It takes a lot of weight. But yes, at least if you're dancing at home or whatever, at least you're exercising, which is which is one of the, like, you know, it's good. But I think right. that the whole package is like the community going, like, for instance, right now, we all going, I'm bringing like 23 students to the Congress. Nice. So all that community, all that thing, is, it will help with, with, with everything together, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's a whole package deal. I agree. Uh, you know, I being, agree. Being that's like, that's you know, you know, yeah. But yes, yes. If you're a married couple and, and you go out once in a while, and that helps. You know? That you're 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 active. You know, right? And staying active. Being active. I'm just you know. Ed Mano, you're cutting up. You're cutting up. Yeah, it's 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 cutting it's cutting up pretty bad. Si quiere, si quiere, if you want it to to oh, I think I got you back. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. There. Yeah. 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 Yes, you're good. I can hear you. Sorry about that. So, I'm sorry. Yeah, the anyway, yeah the back half, I we yeah, weren't no, able to hear. Um, you know, that was saying. Okay, okay. No, I man. I was just saying that, that that at least if you have your your wife, your husband, at least you're going out, you're being active, and it's about being active. Right, yeah. right. And I do like the fact that you pointed out the. I guess what happens. I guess, like you said, for your self-esteem, when you when you get in front of a mirror and you put on something nice, you know, I, I, spe- I think, well, I, for the guys too, but I think especially for the ladies, um, you know, to put on yeah. to put on those exactly. shoes and to put on those earrings and to do the hair and 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 for us to wait for them, right? Mientras que están haciendo eso, it's exciting. Yes, it is exciting. It's, it's exciting. So yeah, but uh, yeah. So I mean. It's um, it helps 
being a homeboy, definitely going out, I think it helps a lot more, you know? Right, going right. Going to any place, yeah. Nice. Bueno, bro, I don't know if you could believe it, but ya estamos en esto por 50 minutos. Now we've been doing this for, for 50 minutes. Um, it went out quick, really quick, really fast. Cr- I told you, I told you, it's it's crazy, man. Um, so I guess, okay, pal futuro. I know you spoke about your new studio, brother. Again, man, de corazón, bro. Congrats, man. That's a huge deal. Que comprate tu propio sitio. Um... That's awesome, bro. Please, please let us know how we can help. I speak on behalf of Jeanette and I. Um, that's exciting news, man. To have your own, to have your own real estate there in, in the in the dance scene. That's that's a big deal. I'm sure the students are really, really gonna appreciate Thank that. So and then, bro. and then you have obviously the liberty, a little bit more liberties with the space too. Um, for other than that, I guess ultimately for for the future, what what else what else can you I guess nuggets can you give as far as for what Gariba Dance Studio is going to be doing as a studio as far as for offerings and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> stuff that perhaps students can keep in mind for the future, for the dance scene as it evolves. Um, those types of questions. What are you, what are you thinking about that? What, what, what can we begin to prepare for uh, now? I mean, we're still, I guess, in the early parts of 2023. Aunque ya febrero ya se acabó increíble, bro. Wow. <laughs> Increíble, bro. It's almost the end of the year. So, brother, I, I, have a, I have a lot of plans. I have a lot of, like, big, like, visiones para la escuela nueva for the new studio, especially with the kids. Uh, nice, man. Yes, have you have an amazing kids, kids program, bro. Congrats we, on that as well. Yeah, we actually have a nice kid program, but we wanted to grow it more to teenagers because right now we only have kids. So we're going to be opening new, like, new classes for teenagers uh 14 to 17 you know because that, like after that they they usually go to the adult classes right as far as the adult classes um yeah we are we are, we, we are creating we usually our style is on one you know but we are bringing the on two a lot stronger now we have like 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 classes para las mujeres we have ladies team that are coming up for women we have a, a lot of plans uh once we move but we wanted to also, uh, which I'm going to call you to get your advice because I wanted to create a casino, a casino program. Because like I told you, I've always been a fan. Um, so I've always been a fan. I, I always like encourage everybody to learn casino because it's just it's just so much fun, you know. For it's sure. Just so much fun. And uh, and so, but I wanted to maybe now that I'm going to have more space to 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 have more classes, more more classes for adults. Sure. So, um, and nada, como que diferentes actividades. We have a, a, a lot of like project with my fiance for women's that she wants to, she really into women's, into um, encouraging women's, um, empowering, empowering. That's nice. the world. world. Yes, empowering yes, yes. Women. So she has a big project that I'm going to be helping her out. And uh, as far as the Orlando Congress, changing the conversation, Orlando Congress is is doing the Latin Dance Crown, which is going to happen this year. Yes. It's going to be a dance competition. It's going to be a dance competition, which we wanted to make it to make sure that it's going to be like one of the top in the world. So yes. right now is the first Right now is the first year. We are super excited. A lot of people are going to be competing. And I have a lot of people that, are, that have been talking to me, like big group, like from Puerto Rico. I think that entire island is coming. Oh. Puerto Rico. It's going to be a lot of dancers coming from Puerto Rico, from Los Angeles, from Houston. Vienen un grupo, tú sabes, un grupo bien grande de Nueva York. Vienen un montón de gente grande y obviamente nuestro estado, que eso es uno de los gol mío con todos ustedes que porque, por ejemplo, que tú sabes que tú, la, tú sabes que tú le acabas de decir el nombre de ella, de your partner, Janet. I think she's doing an amazing job and I think that we have amazing dance instructor here in Florida. And that's like one of my goals to make sure that, that this state is respectable and that, you know, you know, we have a lot of talent here. Yes, so, man. Um, yes, we definitely do. And, 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 and platforms like yours, si podemos subir, no, and give, give people, a, you know, give people from elsewhere an opportunity to come over here. Come, come try us out. You know what I'm saying? Let, you know, Exactly. See, see what you got. Exactly. Bring your game over here. Let's see what we got. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Definitely, man. Count us in, brother. However we can help. 
you know, todo por el lado. Bueno, Janet también, con, por su lado de bachata, está acabando. Um, no, she's amazing, bro. Like, I've been, like, seeing her and, and uh, not watching her grow because she's always been a dancer. Yeah. She's always been a dancer, and I know that she's one of the few uh, in this scene that is actually professional trained, you know what I'm saying? So right. She's, uh, but I have seen her grow in the community, and it's amazing. Yes, you man. You know what I'm saying? I, and yeah, so... Yeah, definitely. We're 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 blessed. We're blessed to have her. There's no there's no doubt about it. Um, but yeah, brother. So fantastic, man. Um, unless you have any any final conclusions, I really 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 appreciate your time, man. A lot of nuggets. Um, which ultimately that's what we're trying to do, man. Just like you, brother. We're just trying to deliver value for all of our people. Count us in for the I crown. Too much, right? <laughs> no, para nada, bro. Para nada. See, if, if it was up to me, bro, I'd be I'd be hanging out with you the whole trip, the whole time, bro. No, I told you that I'm really shy. I'm really shy. I say that in the beginning. No, I mean, no, no. I mean, last thing that I want to say is again, thank you, bro. I mean, this is good, and uh, it's the same thing here, bro. But if you need anything, we are here, and nada, bro. Palante y con fuerza, como como dice. Amen, amen. Yeah. I'm okay. Amazing, brother. I appreciate you. Thank you again, brother. Perfecto. Y mantenemos contacto. Or is it LatinDanceCrown.com? LatinDanceCrown.com. Yes. Okay, sir. and that's happening at the Orlando Salsa Congress. At Orlando Salsa Congress, but it's going to happen like it's going to start Tuesday. So it's going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Okay. It's com you know, en la competencia y después el Congreso start on Thursday night. So. Y después el Congreso. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, exactly. and we can obviously do the hotel for the whole time. Exactly. Exactly. You can do the hotel for the whole time, compete, and the pass include everything so if you buy a full pass you can if you're competing that's that's already take you to the congress so you know okay what I'm so it's 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 a great deal okay it's count brother hablamos hablamos i got a lot of people that want to do this you know how we are with with competitions um especially for casino just because bro tenemos que decir a los otra escuela mira you got to bring yeah. them in you, you know the way to, yeah it's a way to grow bro you know, yeah. Así es, así es, brother. Thank you so yeah. much, man. Mantenemos un contacto. Dale. Eh, y para adelante, brother, de nuevo, felicidades con todo lo que está pasando contigo, bro. For real, for Gracias. real. Gracias. Thank you so much. Dale. Peace out. Bye. Be good, brother. Be good. Bye-bye.